Well, I'm going to wait until some folks show up, I suppose. Hello. Hello, hello. I see one. Who is one? Say hello. Tell me. Tell me hello. I'm waiting till a few folks show up before I start scribbling, but I'm not going to wait super long. Um, okay, not going to wait long. So, um, fine, I have one viewer and that's just fine. Um, I have this, uh, little class I'm taking in, in, um, Domestica about, um, kind of opening up my, uh, what it was, uh, my creativity because I've always, I'm, I've been really stuck in this. I have to produce every time a pen hits paper. I've got to produce something quality, and it's kind of not fair because I don't. I don't really get to play. It's not fair to myself. I don't get to play. Um, and so I'm going to try to learn a little better uh, how to play. And one of the exercises right now is. Uh, and tell me if you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. Um, uh, yeah, let me let me know if you can hear me, please. Say yes. Wave your hand. Something. Um, basically, uh, the exercise today is to um, discuss uh, what what animal am I? <laughs> I don't know what animal am I. Um, I, I was thinking maybe I'm a hedgehog. They're kind of cute, but they're kind of bristly. When you don't go touch them, they roll up in a ball. And, uh, yeah, they, they don't like to be messed with too much. I mean, unless you know them and then they'll open up a little bit <clears throat> and, and be friendly. I think that's the kind of animal I might be. Um, Maybe. So, how do you draw a hedgehog? I, I wasn't sure. So, I'm gonna... Let's see. I wasn't sure. I got my... I got my, um... Um... Gouache here. And I have my watercolors here. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um... Start with his little pink face. I think I think he has a little a pinkish a pinkish tone to his face and that's what we're that's what we're gonna uh we're gonna make a little pink face that's a little bit too a little bit too uh pink <laughs> a little bit of add in there a little bit make that a little less orange little yeah a little bit uh, there a little bit there and I think I'm a hedgehog what do you think what are you guys I think I'm a hedgehog because I'm nocturnal I eat snakes <laughs> I don't eat snakes um and maybe I'm a hedgehog because I don't like to be touched too much. I'm not a fan of, you know, you have to let me know you're coming at me. You can't just, you can't just come right up to me and go, hey, <laughs> I need a little bit of a warning. A little bit. Some little paws right there, little baby, little baby paws. I've never drawn a hedgehog, so I don't know what's gonna happen right now. 
So I know a hedgehog has little little quills and stuff. Sorry for the buzzing. I have to put my put that thing away somewhere. Uh, so he has quills. Some are white and brown. I think he's going to have white around him. Um, what color are his quills? They're a brownish, but I don't think they're like a reddish. Well, maybe they're a reddish brown. A little dark. So I'm mixing up uh, some Payne's Gray. And some burnt sienna and we're gonna we're gonna play with some quills they um hedgehogs like to ball up when they're frightened um they're great pets though and they're wonderful in the garden from what i've been told they um they eat a lot of they eat snails and eat a lot of little uh things that we might not need in our garden bugs snails snakes things that aren't necessarily fun um i've never drawn a a hedgehog so i'm not sure is that better i feel like that light was drowning it out um yeah i've never drawn one but I think this guy's a little balled up, but he's only halfway balled up because he's he's familiar with the people that are hanging out, you know, so he's not he's not too scared about what's going on. A few darker bits. A little, a little darker bits. Maybe some darker ones up in here too. A little darker. We're not getting darker. We're getting bluer and not darker. There we go. Beow, beow, beow. I don't know. I've never drawn one of these. I guess his feet would be right in there, right? His little feet. Or my little feet, since I'm supposed to be drawing myself. I don't know. We'll see. How does this how is this gonna come out? Um and um guys can talk to me. I I like to be talked to. It's easier for me to work when I'm I've got noise and, and things happening around me. So, a little chat, maybe. And, and he's kind of got little, I don't like to use black necessarily. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a partial to like a dark blue or gray or even a purple. Um, more than black because it just kind of takes away from... Uh, the colors so we're gonna put I think this is ready to put some eyeballs and a little eye little eyeball right there there a little eye right there he's got a cute little button nose there and a mouth you see it's kind of sweet I want to make his eyes a little bit bigger, and they're not this big normally, but but we don't care about normal. Let's add a little, add a little bit of punch, a little bit of punch in there, in the, uh, there we go. We're having a little bit of, hey, yeah, I do think I'm a, I'm a hedgehog. They said, what animal are you? I said, maybe I'm a hedgehog, right? And he's probably in the grass. I don't know. 
seems like since he's in he's a garden dweller he would be in the grass so i'm gonna kind of take some of this we'll, we'll get some of that white going by adding the grass Now this isn't supposed to be a finished product or anything. It's just me being, me having a little bit of fun and, and trying not to worry so much about uh, final product. I tend to really get immersed in, you know, perfectionism when I'm working and it's, it takes away the fun. It really does take away quite a bit of the fun aspect of creating when you're constantly thinking oh, I gotta perform everything's got to be perfect what if it's not perfect and you not everything needs to be always perfect uh, a little bit of What's he doing there? Well, he's a little skinny and not quite as round as I would have liked him, but that's okay. I'm plenty round for both of us. That's okay, right? If he's not perfectly perfect. Oops, I almost put my brush in the paint water. Maybe there's flowers. Are there flowers? Maybe there's a few. A few flowers. I'm not going to get crazy. I'm promising myself to be loose and happy with it. Right? Everything is fine. We're not being perfect. We're just putting color on paper and seeing what happens. I do believe I'm a, a hedgehog though. You think maybe I can get away with this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I touch things that are wet with things that are not dry yet. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> ah. Is this coming in what kind of brush oh these are um these are raphael soft aqua they're um imitation squirrel i like them the best uh because i can get several different like strokes out of one out of a single uh brush like We'll do it down here. I can I can get I can go small and then fat and then small again. So I have a lot of play with like one size brush. I don't have to constantly switch between them. Um And it's not really part of the picture. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I like them the best. It's taken me a while to figure out which ones I like and which ones work for me. And I get involved and I don't want to switch brushes. So it ends up being my go-to. 
Uh, it took a long time to pick them, to pick what I wanted and what I felt worked for me. Um, and this is what I found. It took me, shoot, I started watercolor. What, when did I start watercolor? Four or five years ago, maybe, when I started messing with the watercolor instead of the acrylics. He wasn't fat enough. I'm making him a little fatter. But yeah. And somebody said they were an eagle. I didn't take a test or anything, but I don't know. I don't think I'm quite as regal as all that. <laughs> I'm funny though and I'm cute and I do roll up in a ball if I don't want to be touched. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this more out there. And I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't I didn't put out any plans. I didn't draw first. I, I, I just wanted to try and just be, have fun with it and see what happened. I don't know if it's working, but he's cute anyway. And he seems like he would be nice. <laughs> Um, let me see. And let's see. I want those eyes to dry. But they're not because, of course, this is live and watercolor does what it wants and it dries when it wants. I think that's me. Yeah, that's me. I'm a little hedgehog. hedgehog no, not perfection not perfection just play <laughs> what is everybody up to today? Yes, April, I think I'm a hedgehog. I do believe, I do believe that, um, you know, the, 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 the question was, uh, what animal would you be? Paint the animal, and there was kind of like you're not supposed to sketch it out first, or or plan or anything. Just have fun with it, which is really hard for me. I I I like to plan. I like to know what's happening, and and just I don't know. I need to stop doing that. I forgot how to play when I'm working. What do you get when you cross a hedgehog and a pig?
Uh, ha, ha, a porcupine, yes. Hedgehogs and porcupines are actually quite similar. Um, except for obviously, you know, the quills and small and um, hedgehogs are nocturnal, which is, I am nocturnal. I actually function much better after I've been up for many hours. <laughs> I am not a morning person. I don't even pretend to be a morning person. I, well, I attempt to be because I have to be as far as being a mom goes, but it's not my favorite thing. It's not even my second favorite thing. <laughs> I think hedgehogs would be fun to have as like, like a pet. I don't know. I mean, I suppose you can have them as pets. Can you have them as pets? And, and I think they're like like British. They're not like an. Uh, they're not native to the United States. So I mean, technically, I can't be a hedgehog because I don't live in the British Isles. But it was. It, it was pointless. Stop it. <laughs> Corny jokes. I like corny jokes, actually. I'm a big fan of dad jokes. Tell you, if you hear me, if you see me posting on Facebook that I'm having a really shitty day, and you come at me with a few little dad jokes, makes my day. Absolutely makes my day. I love when my husband, I groan at my husband's dad's jokes, but I actually really love them. I think he's done. I don't know. That's me. I'm a hedgehog. Decided to make a hedgehog. I'm also supposed to paint a, uh, like a still life so I mean if you guys want to hang around I was just gonna oh this is a Raphael soft aqua 30 imitation squirrel brush they're my favorite um, I prefer them over all the brushes I've learned I've, I've used um, it's it's kind of like a Chinese watercolor brush in a way, and I have, I it's a very small set. I don't I don't use a lot of different brushes. Um, this one is by Cheap Joe's. It's also a fake squirrel brush, super soft. It takes a lot of water. It can hold a lot. It's great for big washes and stuff. And um, I love the point and just it's and it's so soft and it and it's uh, it just goes back to shape really quickly. This is a Raphael soft aqua and it's a four size for again for a bigger bigger areas of color. And just as you go down, you just use them for smaller areas. Also Raphael, this is a two um, imitation squirrel. Maybe I'm a squirrel. <laughs> and then again, and getting down to zero, and then the three zero, which is the, the smallest one I have. There's, there's smaller ones, I just don't have any <clears throat> quite yet. Um, I wasn't sure. Can you see that? Maybe I should get a little closer to him. Pardon me. The wiggly camera. Oh, he's crooked now. I've never drawn a uh, hedgehog before. This is my first time. I could probably do better, but for a first time without any drawing first, just paint on paper straight. Not too bad. He was fun. He was fun. Now, should I stay on and and uh, 
<laughs> well, that camera is kind of weird now. Should I stay on? You guys want to watch some more? I'm, I was just going to... Uh, um, yeah, it's a little heart-shaped. I mean, it's my own idea. I don't know. It's not really heart-shaped, but I'm wondering, should I... Should I stay on and draw a little, some kind, set up some kind of a, a still life or something and mess with it? Or, thanks, that was, that was fun. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing right now is I'm, I'm really thinking I need a, I need a direction. I have this art, I create this art, I have no direction. I don't have any purpose. I know that sounds strange. It shouldn't have a purpose. I shouldn't need to have a purpose or all those other things everybody says. Just make art and just make art for making art. And that's fine. But in my personality, I need direction. I need, I'm trying to think of a better word than direction. Um, Maybe direction is the right word. Now my cam I messed with my camera and now it's just everywhere. I just wanted you to be able to see them and I could have just done this. Because, you know, I'm not thinking. There we go. A little hedgehog. A little baby hedgehog. And the flowers. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, what can I do? with my work that actually has purpose to it that actually it benefits more than just me and whatever whim I have that Tuesday and uh, so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm looking into classes I'm, I'm taking some side stuff and little adventures into creativity and uh, just trying to open myself up for what what can I do with this I realize I'm not I'm old and the market saturated and all the other things that I could say to myself about not doing it but I don't know kind of silly to put roadblocks in front of myself before I even start but um uh, I think I'm gonna do I think I'm going to do a little, uh, unpracticed still life here real quick. Uh, with this stuff and maybe this guy. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to put it up on a, on a box though, because I can't see it. It needs to be up where I can see it. Maybe I'll do that for next time. As it was a 30 minute video and that's enough for me. But I really wanted to share and, and see if I could do it live. And, and uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to take off. I love you.